in my back for you guys. Okay. Cool. Yeah, it looks like maybe the Wi-Fi had a hiccup over here. But... There's something here, but I don't know how to best describe it. So maybe I'll just do what they did, which is... So, like, I always plan to attack my friends in art fight. And that includes all my friends, not just recently made ones. Uh, but... I know that, uh, I sometimes get characters drawn for art fight that I don't mind having drawn, incidentally. I just usually am thinking of, like, this character right here. They're the number one priority this year, and then nobody draws them, which is always funny to me. All right, we're going to take a picture of that. That uh, fan art now, so I can start color picking directly from it. See, see, Coop. Now I have a biker sona. <laughs> Kid, give me excellent, excellent art. I decided to give it more cyberpunky edge, but that's because I think that's cool. All right, and now we're good. And we actually don't need the drawing assist on. I need this to move over, to move over here, I think. And we can draw a drawing assist here. Yeah, and that's crayons too, I'm pretty sure. So, just the energy alone, good energy. Find a nice place where you mix those colors. Together. And yep, this is going to be fun and comfy, cozy to look at. So, first, we're just going to go ahead and do a baseline. Got to have that tactical gear. All right. Let's take some of these more muted colors and just go ahead and Color in with my my pen marker because I like I like the way it feels. Now we're in this color family, which is fun. Let's see.
kind of reminds me of Original Seven that you knew, Coop. So look, it's not exactly right. But it's pretty good. Pretty close. Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta have one of those tactical biker outfits. <laughs> tactical. Is I believe what the style is called, if I'm remembering it correctly. I think they're the ones with all the belts and pockets and stuff, which is so very nice. Let's see. All right, we're going to go with that. That. And we'll move on to another widespread color. We'll just take that nice. Look at me color. All right, that should be that gray as well. All right. So that one will be this one's band specifically. But we'll be able to fix the rest of these ones here in a second. Anyway. I liked the, uh, the knee pads. I don't know if uh, it's what they were going for. But it reminded me of Amber, and I loved that, like, a lot, because <laughs> fossils are cool. All right, I'm seeing some gapping here, so we'll just fix that too. Yes. <coughs> Oof. Yeah, the energy on this outfit is very good. It's part of the reason why I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and steal that. <laughs> part of every artist's great journey. Oh, oh, I really like that. Uh, it was made for me, so I'm just going to go ahead and take it. Lift some of those design elements, add my own flair, but... This is not the first time it's happened to me this way. I doubt it will be the last either. 
since art is really theft in disguise. But not in a bad way. It's just all the original ideas were done probably a long time ago, and now it's just your spin on things. Exactly. You're never going to have the same exact stuff as somebody else, but you can be inspired by their stuff enough to write about their stuff or draw about their stuff. And it sounds an awful lot like that stuff, but it's not going to be that stuff <laughs> that you took inspiration from because it's through your lens, not whoever was originally writing it, etc. That's why the Cthulhu mythos endures so well because people ignored the the hate behind it because the story ideas were cool. Of course, even uh, Lovecraft himself managed to find healing and realized he was being a racist jerk later in his life. So everybody has the ability to change. Just always make sure you remember that they have. Mm-hmm. The most important important bit of truth. I uh, see I've made some minor line work errors, but that's fixable. You can see where I've made my line work errors now that I've gotten close and, and changed the color. I'm missing a line up through the, the middle of the pants legs which is an important differential for what's going on here since they're pants I need to make sure I have pants line all right this is turning out really fun looking, and I'm enjoying it immensely. Uh, let's do this real quick, because I feel like... Uh, no. No, there's actually a color here that I didn't use I want. This lighter blue, actually. And there's black for the gloves. Black or really, really dark purple. And then I'm going to be doing some airbrushing and stuff for it. But we're going to go ahead and take this dark blue here and go ahead and do this part too. And we'll just switch it back to that, and we'll just, I will need to lower my size again, and we'll just Because this outfit sort of feels like I'm stealing from myself, and I'm stealing from the people around me who like robots and spacey style stuff, and 
It feels good. All right, let's just shoot that line down a little bit. There we go. Nice. Let me go back to my colors. And I go not black. Black obscures your lines, so you want to do it dark enough that it could be red as black. Or you want to make sure your lines for those things are the other color. Alright. Now. This is a fun outfit. I like it lots and lots and lots. So let's get this part done. I see. That's that's an important revelation. <laughs> All right. So we're going to steal back these colors here and we're going to just add some touches to this outfit. Of a more galactic inspired nature. I'm going to pull out my self made brush here. To give us some good sparkly space vibes. And then we're going to darken that up. So that it reads like that. Which I think looks cool. Now, I need to do that. Some other aspects you can see. Like around here, I'm going to need to airbrush a, a darker orange. Same for some of these other yellowish parts. But, I need this color again. And I need to get the hood specifically. And Boop. you're just terrible. What did I do? I didn't do anything, and it just did that to me. And that gives off another cool vibe. I think I do need to just like clear this part down here though. It just doesn't read right if I don't. All right. <clears throat> Oh, right, the color here is important too. Oop. There we go. And we need one more color, and I, I'm just going to use a dark magenta tone. There we go. I feel like that helps tie things together. So now we're going to just go ahead and yoink my yellows. I see there's a line that is causing problems. Yes. 
Let me just clean this line up. Is this on this layer? Yeah, it's just on this layer. Why did that happen? How did I miss it? Why did Procreate go crazy and decide to close itself? The world may never know. It almost reads his superhero suit in a way. It reads his space suit. It reads his like. Motorcycle gear. It reads his. Of course, I interpreted the top part as like a crop top hoodie, which is what I did. <laughs> All right, beautiful. Let's get all my little yellow prints, and we'll take this orangey color, and we'll take my airbrush. And I'm actually going to clear this and we're going to try it again. With the drawing assist on this time so that I don't have weird. All right, and then we take Gaussian Blur, and we blur it out a little bit. Then we lower the opacity a little bit, I think. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah. All-purpose suit. For when you gotta do stuff but you don't exactly know what. And in this case, I need this color. <laughs> and, oop. No, I want it to still be on. We need that Gaussian blur. And underneath this, I'm just going to do a little. Because it's fun and I want to. We'll just do like. vagaries and imprints to give it that amber feel that I was going with originally. Alright, is there anything else? Yeah, there is. I missed some parts that are actually black. So now I gotta make sure to color those. So... Luckily, I have drawing assist on, so that makes my life easier. Yeah, just a little mirrored outfit makes me, makes me feel good. Alrighty, alrighty, alright. Let's... 
All right, got it. Now I need. These ones, yeah, 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 yeah. And it's this, and it's back to my airbrush, and it's... Yeah. And I love it here. Can't even tell where I put that, so we're just gonna make it a little bit darker. And we'll get one on the bluer spectrum. And then we just sort of lower the opacity to give it a marbled look. And I <coughs> blur it a bit. I need to turn that up a little bit more. Yeah, like that. And that's not what I meant to do, but. And I'm just going to go ahead and it would be easier if I turned down the drying assist. Uh, yes, yes. Let me turn down it. Yeah, yeah, okay. I like that, I like that a lot. And we'll just go ahead and merge all of those detailings. And then I will do a little bit of shading. Just cause I feel like it. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. So, yeah. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm not too precise on these things. I want those to emit a pseudo light. Because I think that's fun. A lot of fun. Corrugated. A little bit of that. I need to make this smaller even just to color that in because that's the very back back here and Yes.
Okay. There we go. So you can blur it just a little bit. Yeah, we lowered the opacity until it's still there, but not really super visible. And new outfit. This is third outfit. Biker outfit. So let's turn on the the accoutrements, as it were, just to give an impression of Yep. Like that definitely looks like it's built for flying. Yep, gotta add all on the the fun parts, all the beastie bits. All right. <sighs> yeah. All right. I definitely am enjoying the yellow feathers more than I was enjoying the, the gray feathers, which are still on little Legacy 7 up here. And the, the orange dragon feedies. This definitely still reads better for me. Definitely feel all of the the godlike int density that I wanted from this. So yeah. Uh I'm gonna probably keep talking a little bit until Still about an hour's passed, so that's a little bit more. Uh, yeah. Still got stuff in here, uh, so I'll just pop over to like my curio. We'll go back to this bright red space, and we'll just do a little bit of sketching in here. Sketch, sketch, sketch. Because. The next step for this is probably. Outfits. So we'll just go with like basic outfits. This one's got a design ish for an outfit and I'm just sort of putting them in right now. This is Fairies Curio by the by. Uh still let's give you a fun outfit too just a little Design. I would do the same for so, but I have to make sure that the color shows up. So it'll be for these guys first. And maybe the kids too, but we'll see. Big old pockets. A little pocket, another little pocket. I love pockets. Pockets deserve to be on everybody's pants. We'll go with something like that there. If so it's easier to work with. Color you can see, so we'll just sort of do.
something like that. In one of my earlier ones, she was wearing some sort of jacket, so I'll just throw a jacket there. And for the kiddos, I'll do something simple. Maybe a little cloak for this one to sort of act as a safety blanket. Because they're so scared. And shorts with pockets. Because every kid needs shorts with pockets. <coughs> mm. And I don't know about you, dude, but tank top. Long boy. All right. Vagaries done. Uh, uh, da, da, da. Yeah, here's a good representation of seven original design that I posted to the internet that wasn't like a Sona Sona me. Yeah. And then... All of my works from last art fight. Still some of my absolute favorite pieces. This one is still one of my favorites. I just genuinely enjoy Casual monster hangouts and buds and stuff. Your dude. Your casino boy. Uh... And also your girl, because your girl, dinosaurs fun. I was talking about fossils earlier today. Art fight, where you get to shine and show off your multitude of design skills and insanity. Some of my favorite people to attack last year were you and you and Duck. Now I've got a lot more friends and I can't wait to to get all of my like combat people out there. Yes, yes. Always fun. It's always, always fun. <sighs> Fluffy dude. Rawr. Is forward. I have enough to put you into that, but I don't have enough thought for that. 
And I definitely had a lot of fun drawing this one, too. Because I've been drawing. Drawing stuff in my spare time. For my characters. And sometimes you just gotta draw pretty outfits. Cannot wait to do more art fight attacks because it's I did so much stuff for art fight I got some really busy backgrounds in here but at the same time some of them turned out really nice in my opinion of course mostly <laughs> Yeah, I know. I'm looking forward to the theme reveals. So I can wrestle with my inner emotions and decide where I want to stand. Last year it was Team Bloom because I would rather be a tree that is growing than a mushroom that will consume all in the end. Yes, choices. Uh, I have no idea what it got come came down to. Uh, if it's werewolves versus vampires, I'm joining the side of the Awu. There's no other option for me. I have no other choice. But if it's between time and space, I have to, like, seriously think about it. Because, like, tick-tock clock, ooh, fun, fun thoughts, time travel, good, immortality, good. On the other side, my aesthetic is also very space-themed. I love me some stars and space and... If it's dragons versus knights, me and my sister might be fighting because she's very knight and I'm a little dragon person. <laughs> Either way. Thanks for spending time with me here today. I told you guys it was going to be a short one because I didn't really have a plan or anything hopefully by next saturday i'll be feeling better and can get back into the mining and the crafting and the what have you is um if not then we'll see what happened yeah i've already over the past couple of days i've been feeling a lot better so I will ask you guys humbly to follow me. Give me a follower at 15 of 50, which is fantastic if you haven't already. If you still want to support me but can't give money to my Kofi, which is linked in the description, um, I have a YouTube. Go feed the almighty algorithm by looking at the videos there. Uh... Yeah, I hope you have a good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and good wherever you are in this fine world. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye!